in that day for me. Yeah, yeah. Boys, we went ahead and took the GP1 all the way back apart. Um, got all the black panels back off because I'm finishing up a few pieces. Over there, just got that one sprayed for the seat. Um, and I need to paint this one and sand it up here as well as the ones up here. And also, I think I'm going to go ahead and change my throttle over. I didn't want to at first, and I wanted to run the Y cable to do the oil pump situation, but I cannot get this oil tank to work, and it's impossible to find parts of this. So. Uh, I think there's a crack in this oil tank at the bottom because it just does not want to seal and I'm going to take off this side case and take a look at this oil pump. I know this oil pump is belt driven um, but I'm probably just going to do like how you would with the Hondas and zip tie it open and then just run premix and block off all the lines and everything like that. <laughs> Clutch looks pretty new on this thing. You can see the little um, belt back there and it drives the oil pump by a big old gear. Right off the crank. That's actually pretty cool. Never seen that design of an oil pump yet. I noticed that this line right here for the oil pump was unhooked inside the block too. Look at all that oil that came out in there. So that, that makes a lot of sense too. All right, got the trans back together. As you can see, the oil pump down there is zip tied open. I got the lines pulled out of here out of the case. Um, that way I can just block it off down here and uh, just plug the one on the intake for the carburetor. Got the derby all taken apart. Cable for the oil pumps out. Now I just gotta pull it out of the car, pull it all the way through. NCY quick throttle, new cable right there. Starting to sand on the side panels right here. The sticker pulled up a lot of the paint. Um, as you can tell, I'm going through trying to sand it, trying to get it as smooth as possible. And then uh, gonna primer it and uh, let's get to work on the other ones as well. Need to get to this plug for this door. Where are you, Mr. Plug? Oh, you're way back there. The throttle cable? Yep. Got a bunch of parts off this CH 150 right here because uh, I posted it on the Honda scooter page the other day. If anyone needs parts off this, let me know. This part right here, no longer for sale. All right, the final piece. Just peeled off all the stickers, which were such a pain in the ass. They just came off in tiny little chunks the whole way. But painting this derby has been the biggest process, for sure, of the whole build. But it's coming out good, though, so it's paying off. But um, these are still got to be clear-cutted. All that up there is clear-cutted. Um, doing a naked bar setup, so we'll be running that. Uh, sand this down, primer it, and then we're going to sand it again, and then paint it, and then wet sand it, and then clear it. So the process we've been doing it's working pretty good all right out there painting that front fairing black now primered and sanded it i don't know what it is about this seat piece right here but it will not take clear coat every time i clear it it just goes to shit i'll wet sand it uh, perfectly black and then i go to spray some clear on it and it just turns to shit i don't know if it's something deep in the plastic that keeps surfacing but i've literally sanded this thing like five times now and somehow every time i clear coat it it just crumbles up every other piece takes the clear coat just fine but that one like crumbles when the clear coat hits it like I learned in the process of this that you can't mix like acrylic paint with non-acrylic clear coat so I had to go and get Krylon on everything to make sure it all matches but I'm about to try to clean this headlight up now because it's yellow got some headlight restore right here gonna try to see if I can get this thing looking better it definitely looks a lot better but I was kind of hoping that it would be a lot more clear it's still like a yellow haze to it but Definitely did the job pretty good though. All right, so Turned out pretty good right here. Like you can almost see, it's for plastic. This is dried Pretty good See like that little foggy spot Everything else is pretty solid, but what is wrong? Like what is happening to this paint man? Is it drying too quick because the Sun maybe like look you paint it Completely fine. I just, I just sanded this and wet sanded it. And look at that. I barely even went over this part yet. It's barely even wet. As you can see, it's still dry right here in the spot. But it keeps doing that. Seriously, one of the most frustrating things ever. Because I've been taking my time so much with this paint job. Trying to make it look where you can't tell it's like spray painted. And it's just dogging me. 
<laughs> the 89 boys, I didn't even think about that. That's hard. Up to uh Let's go to be standing. That thing looks super to to clean right now. Huh? We're gonna go to Roberto's and get some food. Oh you didn't grab food yet? No. The 89 boys out here right now. 72, 120. <laughs> 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 All right. Two stroke 50 cc versus electric scooter. The brakes yeah. sound so cool. You think, you think it's faster than yeah. the purple bike though? I don't 50? know, we gotta try it bro. Right. It's so light. Oh, okay. I was like twisting. Oh! <laughs> you ever had a cramp there? No, I haven't. Really? Off the line, you think still? Off the line, my shit ripped right really? now. Really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're losing off the line for sure. <laughs> what the hell's going on? To warm up or something. <laughs> yeah, I think it's gonna take off. Yeah, that thing's taking off. Line him up! <laughs> Actually, was not too bad for the electric scooter. He's just trolling up. With those gears, 72, this would be like a better race. Pretty easy, I think. But the 81 is where it just pulls on it. This thing almost can hang. That's kind of crazy. And it's got a pipe and carb and yeah. everything. Yeah. <laughs> You're the wiring, right? Let's the charge. <laughs> I've yet to feel a bike really that easy. Man, then you can learn that shit. Dude, That's that is bad. ideal. <laughs> <laughs> like you literally just bet. It's hard not to fucking wheelie. Yeah. On those wheelies. With those <laughs> I know. It's hard not to wheelie. You have a perfectly set up. Yeah, bike, is it because it's an eight? You think it's because the 89 well, is so the light? It's because it's so light. And yeah. Like, I mean, it's just the perfect combo. All right, I think uh, we're about to take the first look at this Zuma thing because it 
thinking maybe it might be a crank tilt or something. We're gonna have to dive into this thing and look. But basically, this thing's having a hard time running. Like, you're full throttle. And then she's dead. So we're gonna take a look into the Zuma piece real quick. Yeah. Yeah, the EPA is going after a lot of the shoots the pods out. <laughs> no leak. Seal looks pretty good. That's it for this one, boys. As you saw, I checked the kicker case side of the Zuma for the crankcase seal just to see if it was leaking. I saw a few people hint that it would probably be the crank seals. I didn't think so myself. Um, didn't check the other side because I don't have a stator puller. I just highly doubt it's the crank seals is the problem. I think it's either the petcock or just something with the carburetor. So petcock or something with the carburetor or something just not getting it fuel. Um, as you could tell, literally, the idle screw is completely maxed out and the carb is like halfway open. And look at this, blue oil keeps coming out. So, I even put blue oil in this bike. I had caster in it. So, it's getting oil from somewhere right there. Could just be deep down in the tank and it's just pushing it through and getting it all clunked up. So, um, I think this bike just needs to be completely gone through. Right now I'm debating whether I want to buy a Pliny Corsa and put a 72 on this bike. ASAP or put it on the purple bike. That's just what I'm deciding on right now and uh, this bike's going to be for sale. Going to get that thing running and sell it. Got a lot coming, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.